Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV and I hope you're all doing very well today. I'm in Manchester for a change, I'm in uh, Alexandra Park in Wally Range and uh, just been doing some bubble training for somebody today and just uh, finished up, had, had the obligatory ice cream and I thought it's about time we did another video so we're going to talk about Lucas Paqueta and hopefully he got his name right, Paqueta and um, I think this news, uh, this transfer uh, rumour has come out overnight. Um, Brazilian kid, he's 25 years old, he'll be 26, I believe, at the, towards the end of August. Um, he joined West Ham last summer, I think it was 50 million quid, and it's been rumoured that City are willing to pay 70 million pounds to get Lucas Paqueta up to Manchester. Now, don't, obviously don't know too much about the kid except he's uh, he's Brazilian and we could do with another Brazilian in our team couldn't we um, but he I think from all accounts from West Ham fans he struggled to adapt initially when he joined um, but the last let's say third of the season last 8, 10, 12 games the people said he was sensational absolutely sensational and I heard one guy on the radio today say he deserves to be playing at a higher level and he'll be he'll look even better playing at a higher level he's he's basically too good for West Ham and I think a lot of their fans will accept that um, he will probably end up moving on now it's been rumored that City are, they haven't uh, uh, put a bid in yet uh, but they're willing to pay about 70 million quid West Ham obviously want more than that even though they only bought the guy last year and they'd make about £20 million profit, um, they want more. They'll hold out for more. They've got the Declan Rice money, so maybe they're not in any uh, rush to sell at a lower price than they think is right. But you've also got to remember that they're out there now buying players. Finally, West Ham fans have been screaming that they, you know, they haven't bought any players now. It's all coming out thick and fast. Um, at the moment, James Ward-Price, uh, apparently a £30 million bid has been accepted by Southampton for him, so he should be joining. Uh, Harry Maguire, Manchester United, have accepted a £30 million bid for him. They've got the kid Alcarez, or the chap, I don't know how old he is, Alcarez coming um, as well. They've still got a bid in for Scott McTominay. That who knows what might happen there. Um, and I think they can buy all these players without worrying about any extra money coming in from uh, the sale of Paqueta. But having said that, if they do manage to, you know, if you just come to City, they get a lot of money. Uh, maybe they can up their bid for McTominay. They're still looking for a new striker. I think uh, you, they can't rely on Antonio. I don't think he's, uh, quite frankly, I don't think he's good enough. So I think they do need a, a new striker and maybe Maybe this, uh, you know, the sale of Paqueta can allow them to buy, as I said, add a bit more money in, buy McTominay, go out and buy a quality striker. And then suddenly you look at them in a different light. I mean, you know, you might want to slit Harry Maguire and make fun of him, but, you know, he, he was a decent defender at, at one point. Um, and McTominay, look, look, these guys were playing for Man United in their first team. So you can't say they're rubbish. Um, Alvarez is supposed to be good and uh, yeah if they can go out and get um, a couple more good signings uh, I think they can especially a striker you know who, who's to say they can't go to Brentford and say here's 60 million for Ivan Tony or they can go and look uh, somewhere else and, and get someone who's going to bang in maybe 15 or 20 goals for them this season and maybe in what could be David Moyes' last season at West Ham, maybe he plays some expansive football for a change um, and uh, some, does something exciting rather than some of the, let's be honest, some of the dire football we've seen. So, you know, as I said, they don't want to sell Paqueta. I'm just going to walk across here. The, the Caribbean uh, Carnival is uh, this weekend and they're just setting up in, uh, in this uh, Alexander Park for that. So, yeah, I, West Ham don't want to sell him because... He's a crack, he looks like a, he's going to be a cracking player. They want to keep their best players, but eventually, like Declan Rice, you know they had to had to sell him. And look at it from 
Paquetta's point of view uh, for a moment, who wouldn't want to play for the current Premier League champions? Who wouldn't want to play for the Champions League winners? Who wouldn't want to play for the team that's just won the treble? Who wouldn't want to play for the team that's just won the Premier League back to back to back? Who wouldn't want to play under Pep Guardiola? All these are big ticks for, for City and obviously this, these are the, some of the reasons why Lucas Paqueta would want to come to Manchester. Okay, um, and with all due respect to West Ham, you know, they w did win the uh, Europa Conference League last season, but with all due respect, you're not sure what they're going to be winning anytime soon. What are they going to win again? You know, it might be another whatever 30 or 40 years before they win something again, you know. Um, and I'm not making fun of them at all, but I'm just being, being honest and putting it out there. And yes, the only way to be challenging for trophies is to keep your good players and get more good players in and develop good players and losing someone like Paqueta is is gonna hold uh, you know hold them back a little bit okay but they, as I said earlier they have to use that money go out and get some good players um, in to cover the slots where they do need certain uh, players as I said like a striker so Paqueta wants to come to Manchester there's absolutely no question about that um, and the problem for West Ham is if you, and it's, it's, it's well within their rights, obviously, you know, they hold, uh, hold his registration, well within their rights to ask for more money. It's well within City's rights not to pay more money than that. Um, and I suspect, knowing the way, looking at the way City seem to have been doing the business that's been made, wouldn't say made public, but rumours and leaks have come out. The way City do their business is they'll put a bid in and that's it, you know. We put a bid in for Declan Rice, and that was it. It wasn't accepted, Arsenal had offered more, City backed out. City have a evaluation for players, and that's why a lot of players who are strongly, heavily linked with City don't come to Manchester, okay? Because, you know, clubs put trying to charge too much, and City say, no, it's beyond our valuation. Um, this, was it Cooley Barley was supposed to be coming? Price was too high, City said no. So these, these things happen, as I said, Declan Rice, price was too high, City walk away. Happens time and time again. Um, so you know, if West Ham uh, hold firm, um, play hardball, and say we want 80 million, 90 million or whatever, then maybe City will walk away. But then West Ham have a problem because, as I said earlier, who wouldn't want to play for Manchester City? Who wouldn't want to play for Pep? Who wouldn't want to be winning or challenging for the best, uh, for the top honours? Yeah, with all due respect, again, Europa Conference League is it's a third best competition or, or the last competition in Europe. You know, you want to be playing in that Champions League. You want to test yourself at that highest level. You want to be in it with a shot of winning the Premier League and everything else. And there's a risk because the rumours are that obviously Paqueta wants this move. He's absolutely keen as mustard to get this move to Manchester City. What's going to happen if he doesn't get his move? How unhappy is he going to be? Is he going to go on strike like some players do? You know, is it going to turn his head so much that he can't figure? I guess we'll find out maybe this weekend um, if he's actually selected for, for West Ham's game this weekend. So it, we're probably not. Uh, too long to wait and obviously the transfer window closes I think at the end of the month or the 1st of September so we'll know in the next few weeks but um, it's an interesting one because you know, he's, he's not really come across my radar uh, that much uh, not to say, say he sh I don't think he should have but I don't think he has and um, you know it's a question where will he play and everything else uh, he's going to play midfield isn't he you know um, with the news that hopefully Bernardo Silva staying with the news that Carl Walker staying, that gives us, a, hopefully, and extending the contracts, that gives us a bit of stability. We do need attacking, uh, I think, a, a, an attacking midfielder to cope with the loss of Gundogan, Ilkay Gundogan going, um, because that, that's a huge loss in terms of creativity, assists and goals, and calmness and composure and uh, leadership. So that, that, that's a, a huge loss. Um, worry is with Paqueta, if Paqueta comes and play, ends up playing attacking midfield, and we know Bernardo was first choice on the right. What happens to Phil Foden? That's a concern. What happens to Cole Palmer? McAtee? Oscar Bob? What's going to happen to these guys? And you, yes, you can say, you know, 
you know, maybe two of the kids, uh, as in two out of three of uh, Cole Palmer, Oscar Bob and uh, James McAtee, wouldn't have stayed at sitting uh, next season, as in they would have gone out on loan, and one kid would have been kept in the in the squad uh, to train with the first team. Um, you, you do worry. You do worry about Phil Foden. You know what happens to him? He's an attacking midfielder. Well, that, surely that's his spot. And as I said, if Bernardo's out on the right. Where does Phil Foden fit into all this? Has Phil Foden suddenly fallen down the pecking order so far that he becomes a bit part player? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm shocking myself to actually say that. Is Foden going to be a bit part player when he was so, I thought, crucial and integral to City going forward? He's the, we thought he's the future of, uh, of the club. You know, he's one of our own. And we feel it just that little bit more if he's not going to you know, feature for the club. So... That's a concern, but it's a, a concern that will only come to fruition if we actually do get um, this Lucas Paqueta and um, or somebody else to, to fill that position. But watch your space, guys. We will find out soon enough. It won't be long, you know. Transfer, as I said, the transfer window closes uh, in a few weeks' time, and um, if uh, Lucas is not in uh, Nils' uh, squad at the weekend, maybe that's a hint of something positive to come in this. Uh, transfer it's not saga yet it's a bit too soon for that but from this transfer window we do need another body or two and as i said it a few weeks ago i think we'll get minimum one more player possibly two and uh, we wait to see if lucas paqueta is one of them guys if you're new to the channel it would be fantastic if you could subscribe if you can hit that bell icon you'll be notified as soon as new videos come out we'll see you around blues